just want to draw your attention to a couple of things um, which have come up um, with the spring modules in MOL um, and something that needs to be uh, addressed um, pretty, pretty quickly I think. So one is if you're linking to images in, in your module pages, so here's an example on screen here, um, if you make sure basically that the, the images that it's linking to, which would be living in the content collection for that module, have got their permissions set so that it's actually shared with the students. Because if you don't adjust this, the students basically won't be able to see the images. They'll see the text, but the image won't appear. I can see it because I'm an instructor. If you go to any page with an image on, you can check this uh, or check where the image is if it's not obvious. If you, if you mouse over the image, and if you look down at the bottom of the screen now, there's a URL appearing so you can see the exact folder structure uh, for where the, the file it's linking to lives in the content collection. So you'll see here it's in a folder called module content 1314. It doesn't matter that that's last year, it's just a name. And then in a subfolder called images and it's called Spanish Flu PNG. So if you go to that module's um, content collection, um, so here we go, um, and actually I'm already in the folder, so I'm in the module content for 1314 folder and the images folder and you'll see here there's various images. What I'm going to do is basically change the permissions on the, the images folder itself so that everything inside it and in subfolders uh, is available to the students. So if I go back up to the module content folder 1314, uh, just wait for a second. So here's the images folder here. You'll note on the permissions it's not set. So if I just basically click on the permissions icon um, and then click on permit anyone. Um, and make sure read is ticked and click submit. Um, when we go back to the previous screen here, you'll see there's a new row at the bottom called public, which basically means students have got read access, which is what I want. And then if you click OK, um, you'll notice the, the, the icon on, on in the permissions uh, column for, for the images folder is now set so that they can access it. That's great. Um, the other thing to mention is if you go to um, your module, if you're using discussion forums, and most do, uh, and you want to be kept abreast of any posts, you do need to resubscribe to each forum in your new Spring module. So, for example, if I go to session 9, activity 5 here, you'll notice that um, I will need to click subscribe here. And so do that for any forums that you want to be um, notified um, of when students post in it, click sub subscribe. Um, and and that, so there's two really important things for you to check.